news is we're going on a trip. Yeah, I like it when we get to cover some miles, but there's some bad news too. Here it's going to be 29 degrees, and where we're going it's going to be 21 degrees. So as makes perfect sense when going on a journey, I set the car to charge to 90%, and on the app I noticed this. 90% 210 miles. 90% uh, was about 204 miles about six months ago. Okay, so I better load the family and yeah, we better get going. So we've got some choices that we can make, basically. Uh, the car says that we could go all the way there and all the way back and we would have 2% remaining in the battery. So obviously we're not gonna do that. We're gonna charge at least once. But we can charge today and tomorrow go straight back home. Yeah. Or we can charge tomorrow when it will charge quicker, but time is more of an issue. The other alternative is I could try and use a charger in Hastings. There's a charge your car point there. I'll try and charge when we're there, I think. Wow, well, does it want to get a bit narrower up here? Because I'm concerned that it's... The car is too wide, Jasper, that's the problem. We made it! We made it! No. Okay, so the plan is, because the parking here is virtually impossible and this car is far too wide, I'm going to go and park somewhere down the hill and Soph and everyone are all going to go and get food without me. Luckily, I've got the bike in the back, so... Okay, we're at the first charge point, and this is the problem. That's not ideal, and the next charge point is almost two miles away, so I've got a bit of cycling to do. Okay, so I found a charge point that is apparently working. The only slight problem is I'm going to pay for this one. Oh well, I suppose you can't have everything. On the upside, it is a quick charger. Yay! Unfortunately... I can only stay here 30 minutes and then have to move it. This is in danger of becoming a faff. Of course, I'd forgotten that I actually put 20 pounds on that card as a sort of condition for joining the Charge Your Car network. So handily enough, I've already paid. So that's at least something, using money that's otherwise sort of just sitting there. Give me superchargers any day. So, as I've got a bit of time to kill, I thought I might as well talk a little bit about battery degradation. Obviously, all batteries degrade over time, but there are things you can do to try and improve that, or to sort of reduce the rate of degradation, better way of putting it. And one of the main ways is to try and avoid using the extremes of the battery's charge range. So, not filling it up to 100%, not letting it run all the way down to zero, which is why I usually only charge to 70%. However, in the last couple of months, I've taken the opportunity to charge to 90% whenever I think I'm going to need that extra range. And the reason why I've done that is because one small problem with only ever using the battery right in the middle is that over time, it becomes more and more difficult for the software in the car to work out how much power is actually in that battery at any given time. I mean, it, it knows the temperature and it knows the voltage, and that's more or less what it uses to try and work out the state of charge. But it's not 100% accurate. The best way for it to be well calibrated is if you charge it all the way up to 100% and run it all the way down to zero and then charge it all the way back up to 100% and doing that the car knows exactly how much power has come out and how much power has gone in because at the extremes you know up to 100% and down to 0% then it can work out quite accurately the state of charge 
So that explains why when I did my first battery degradation video a couple of months ago, I had only a 204 mile range on a 90% charge, which if it was charged to 100% would give me about 227 miles of range, 226, 27 in that ballpark. Now, because I've done a few 90% charges recently, it now says it'll be able to do about 233 34 miles on an absolute full charge so the internal software in the car has sort of calibrated itself a bit better now and the end result is it thinks i can do an extra six miles nice now when i very first had the car a hundred percent charge was a 242 mile range so as i've lost about nine miles from that that means that i have had a 3.7 percent reduction in battery capacity in two years and you could look at that and go ah that seems like a lot mm -mm, it's not a lot because i've done 48,000 miles and i've lost 3.7 percent range so if I carried on going at that rate, I would have lost about 15% over eight years and almost 200,000 miles. Fantastic. I mean that, I, and it actually might well slow down because battery degradation is not linear. It tends to be quicker at the beginning and then sort of it slows down and tails off. And then eventually right at the end of the battery's life, it sort of goes off quite quickly, but that wouldn't happen until the battery was down to something like 40 50 percent of its original capacity which at this rate it'd take me about a million miles well it's not true it would take about two-thirds of a million miles give it another few minutes and then i'll get home with more than 30 percent station power limited Arrgh. seems a bit cheeky if you ask me to charge people and then have silly stations that can't even do 40 kilowatts for an entire half an hour these things will get better with time, hopefully. As I can't get hold of so she's probably wondering, what am I doing? I am determined to get a burger, however. Grilled peppers and smoky aubergine puree, a veggie one. Is that a sandwich? Um, the one with the aubergine? Yes. Yeah, I'll go with that. I like aubergine. That'll be nice in a sandwich. Yeah. Try and get here as soon as you can. Cause... Okay. All right. Thanks, Brunky. See you in a minute then. Bye. So not a burger then. That's all right. Sounds nice, I think. Of grilled aubergine and a ciabatta. <laughs> Time to see if we can salvage anything for lunch. I like the cycle highways they've got here though. Awesome. If it was 30 degrees, I bet this place would be absolutely lovely. I knew this last mile transport would come in handy one day. I'd give you a thumbs up, but I don't have enough hands for that. Found it. I know, Diet Coke sounds good to me. Is he still there? Back in here, chicken. Mmm, mm, yummy. Yeah, Do you want a crisp? Very wrong. <laughs> Yeah, that's the steering wheel of the helicopter. I'm going for an emergency coffee because I am stupidly knackered. That'll do. Thank you. I love the way they just hang there. It's official. Tired people don't make good decisions. What have you done? I got coffee, but I went virtually to Chichester to get it. <laughs> the good news is, coffee's pretty good. God, it's windy here. Hmm. Still, at least the sun's out. Yeah. Come and sit here and we can have a photograph. Well, hope you've all enjoyed today's vlog post. If you have, Remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you tomorrow for the next instalment. Bye. I've got to unplug the car.